Yet another Thursday night at the Hi-Fi. This time, the wonderful awesomeness of the evening was given to us by The Haunted, and I managed to track down one of their wonderful members to have a conversation. Sir, your name, rank, serial number, please? Uh, attention whore number one, Peter. Uh, I'm the guy who screams and sings and does cheesy moves on stage with a beard. Awesome, yes. And lots of very cool tattoos as well. <laughs> I, was, I was enjoying reading you during the evening. It was great. <laughs> it's also a literary experience. <laughs> yes. Um, okay, my first question is, it's probably a stupid one, but okay, the band's called The Haunted. Why did you choose the name The Haunted? Are, are you guys haunted? Do you have a roadie post poltergeist? I'll, I'll, be, I'll be completely 100% honest. Yeah, it's it just looked cool. <laughs> you know? Fair enough. It, it wasn't, there's no larger mystery to it than that. No, okay. no, no. We, we were kind of fucking around trying to come up with a band name that was alright and The Haunted looked cool. Awesome. That's, yeah. Well, I, I like, like your that. honesty yeah. there. That's, that's so refreshing. I like you didn't bullshit me with any crappy story. That's awesome. <laughs> Okay, so your uh, your new album came out March this year, I believe yep. it was. Yep, the unseen. Um, what was your What's your favorite memory associated with the album so far? Yeah, the, the with one. this record? Wait, wait, wait. Uh, memory with this album? Getting picked up. <laughs> Getting picked up like two minutes after the show. A couple of weeks ago in a small town in Sweden called Lynn Schöping by by some gorgeous chick and I've awesome. dude I like that it was it was like wow now that's a memory yeah and it, well it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't even like like the, the kind of traditional sleaze groupy kind of thing it was just kind of you know I uh, dude I we're gonna go home to me shower right now you and me it's just like and I'm. Okay. You bet. Yeah, whatever. You bet. Anything you say. That's that's the way it felt, and <laughs> it was it was one of those great little rock and roll moments. Cool. That is yes. so cool. Uh, so, what's your favorite aspect or favorite thing about the new album, like musically, lyrically? It's it's really really as a musician over all these fucking years. It's so enjoyable to. Have gotten to a point where we can actually <laughs> execute what we create. Yeah. Uh, we can. We can. It feels like right now. It feels like, dude. There's nothing that we've we've created so far that we can't put out to the T and even add some. You know. Yeah. Um. And that's that's a feeling that fills you with a lot of. It's <laughs> a lot of gratitude. Yeah. And you know, and and it feels good. You know, because. Over the years, because I mean, we've, we've had this man for 15 years. Uh, well done. And we've always kind of tended to do it our own way. Mm -hmm. uh, and some people might not like that, but I think the majority of people seem seem to enjoy it. And slowly, we're gaining a different kind of respect than than a lot of other bands that kind of get the, the quick recognition yeah. fix. You know, we're. We're getting a deeper kind of respect from from our audience, and and every show we play is truly a, a it's a goddamn ritual of, of, of love and admiration for metal and for this 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 thing called alternative music. Yeah, you know? that might sound kind of cheesy or or you know, but to us that's what it is. You know? That's right. And, yeah. It's beautiful, man. <laughs> it is fucking beautiful. You know, it really is fucking beautiful. You know, we hey, you took some bullshit photos. You know, you're right. You're right. Thanks, man. Well, the, the thing is, this you know, we really because we came out of bands that started out death metal mm -hmm. and and hardcore back in back in the really late '90s and early early you know yeah. late late '80s and early '90s. We started yeah, yeah. out in the '80s when we were kids, you know, just teenagers. <laughs> yeah. And we we found ourselves touring the world. Really Really early, you know, we met like at the gates, Mary Jane, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Seons, and Invocator, etc., etc. Yeah, yeah. And we did that, and then when we started this band, we knew that all right, we're not going to be able to do this unless we fucking work hard. Yeah. And it means that we're going to be poor <laughs> for a long fucking time, and that's yeah. all right. Yeah. Uh, but we're going to do what we love. And we're going to do it our way. We're not going to be fucking around uh, having someone else tell us what to do. Yeah. And 
that's what we've stuck to. That's that's been our formula of doing it. Do what we love and trying to find new ways of expressing ourselves and trying to stay true to us. You know, our our the core of what we want to express, yeah. you know. Yeah. And uh that has has really made it it's given it longevity, you know. Yeah, it's, it's, absolutely. Yeah, and, and we're really, really happy that, that that's great. it's worked, you know. <laughs> yes. It's beautiful. Uh, so I was looking at your tour, tour dates for later this year. You're playing Vakin, I noticed yeah. this year, which is awesome. That'd Congratulations. Um have you ever been to Vakin just as a metal fan or only ever as a performer? We we were there with the Haunted a while back and I think we, last time was yeah, 2008. We, we, yeah, I, we, I mean it's it's unavoidable as a metal fan. Yeah. It, it really is. Yes. Yeah. We you know when we when we played there the first time I was I was so excited because I've been dreaming of playing Vakin since I was a little, little what kid. What metalhead doesn't, you know? Yeah. And so really it's is that everything? No, it means it means a lot. That's right. And how does playing Vakin can compare to say a, a normal s kind of festival or tour is it as i mean you're saying it's a really wonderful experience is it horribly intimidating as well Fuck or no. is it just Fuck no it's just a bunch of metalheads yeah so it you it couldn't be more at home <laughs> you know uh it's it's one of the good things with for us mm. playing there we had no idea what what we're gonna expect and that's kind of the, the mindset we always have you know yeah. we don't have we don't know yeah and and for some reason it's 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 become I don't know why but we have become a band that has somehow stirred up a lot of emotions mm. and attitudes around you know polarized opinions in, yeah. in metal you know with, within the metal scene yeah. I, and I don't know why because you know, even even a band like fucking Man Award there's like what is the message be true right yeah and I don't think you can possibly find a truer bunch of motherfuckers than, than we are yeah you know and because it, it is here's here's like the sentiment of metal mm -hmm. it's it's about uh, freedom of individual yeah the freedom to be who the fuck you are and to be true to that yeah to be to be that to the fullest extent you can and to share a certain sense of respect yeah and and a certain res sense of, of, of respect to other people to to be who they are you know yeah, yeah. and and I personally think it's just kind of lame when <laughs> when people can't, you know, get that into their thick skulls mm. and they think it's supposed to be one way or another because it's, you know, it's not. Yeah, you know, it's yeah. me heavy metal is, is like this huge scope of expression and... And, you know, because we, we have so much cool artists within the metal scene, and it's so diverse. It's like, you know, get off your high horses and just get with the goddamn music, you know, have, have a good time. Just and, enjoy Yeah, enjoy, man. It's, yeah, no, that's great. It's so nice to hear um, a band member say that, because we've had discussions with some friends and I about the genre-ism that goes on. You know, the, the death metal fans won't talk to the thrash metal fans. It's bullshit. It's bullshit. The melodic it's, fans, and it's like, it's all metal. Just enjoy it. Yeah. You know? You know, we, we, we can be as, as, as fucking nihilistic in words, etc. If, if you have a dysfunctional view on reality, get some fucking help. You know, you can be a miserable motherfucker all your life, but it's not going to, you know, in, in, improve your life. Yeah. And it's not going to make your life any fucking better. You know, if you want to be that miserable prick, well, why don't you just go and drown yourself? Jump in the big Great Barrier Reef. It's real close, isn't it, right here? It's yeah, not that it's not far that far. Away. You know, you got hours. fucking white charts, you yeah. go. And go. You know, we're not gonna miss your sorry ass. It's okay. You're fucking taking up space and wasting fucking oxygen. Yeah. There's a beautiful fucking planet and a beautiful fucking you know world, and there are fucking really cool people here. Yeah. You know, we all enjoy a good cup of coffee and a laugh. You know. Yeah. Like, let's do that. Yes. <laughs> is Absolutely. that is that being an asshole or no. an arrogant son of a bitch? I don't. Not at all. I don't think so. You know, but hey. Yeah. Uh, it takes all sorts. Uh, 